Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy moly. I have just made a mess. <laughs> Hello. Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video from the dream road trip. Or should I call it the dream road trip? The, the Euro trip, shall we say. Today is our last day in Italy. Uh, yesterday, well in yesterday's video, not yesterday's video, the video I filmed yesterday, we visited both Pagani and two Ferrari museums. Phenomenal place. Um, and seeing as it's our last few hours in Italy, We've got to visit Lamborghini, right? So we're here in Bologna uh, to visit the place. Uh, it's over there, I've just seen it, just driven past it, but got kicked out because obviously I'm not in a Lamborghini. Uh, so let's head over there and drool over some more cool cars because I mean, the best of the best are in these museums. Um, and seeing as it's the home of the brand, um, oh well, it's gonna be mega. So let's go. Holy mother of Jesus. <laughs> this, this is the one car that I've wanted to see forever. Only a handful in the world. The Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Full carbon body, track only, not road legal. There's only about 10 or something in the world. Look at this thing. Oh no, this is, this is mental. Very roughly based on the Gallardo uh, from the chassis, but other than that, it's completely different. We've got a Reventon, we've got a Veneno, we've got the Asterion concept, Centenario, Merchalago SV, Diablo SV, Mura SV, SVJ, Urus, the SVJ, the Camo One thing, and a Perth. I want an Aventador shell. This place, let I me mean, just look at that view. Look at that view. So funnily enough, I've actually seen this Venono before. I can't remember if I made a video of it. I think I did. But it did actually visit Lamborghini London, HRO in Lamborghini London. I think it was December 2017. Uh, and I was lucky enough to see it in the showroom. And I think on the road as well. I can't exactly remember, but wicked car. It's the only one I've ever seen. I've never seen a roadster, because uh, obviously they do the roadsters as well. But to see it again is awesome, especially with a Reventon, a Sesto Elemento, the Asterion concept, and the Centenario. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this might be the Geneva show car, because I was in Geneva for the mode show for the world premiere of this car, which was, again, a very pinch moment. <laughs> Full carbon, I suppose, carbon body. Awesome, awesome car. Only 25, 20, 20 or 25? I think there's 20 coupes and 20 roadsters worldwide, so extremely rare, but somewhat common compared to that one over there. Mate, this is absolutely incredible. So this is really, really cool to see. This is the exact car that broke the Nürburgring lap record of six minutes, 44. I mean, you can just see, it's just been completely untouched. It's still got all the, the fly marks, it's dirty. Really, really cool to see this. Look inside there. Man, this is epic. All in its uh, camo livery still. This is priceless, really, if you think about it. This is the lap record car. The car that's probably been used for testing, um, the, the car which got some spy shots taken of it. Wow, I love that wing. The camera really does accentuate it as well, actually. And these wheels, I'm not sure if these are, well, I presume they're factory options because <laughs> we're at the factory. But these are really, really cool. I almost prefer them to the uh, multi-spoke ones that are on that car. This place is mental, absolutely mental.
Oh, well that was a bit cool, wasn't it? Wow. Um, I've seen the Sesso Elemento. Finally. Finally. Um, quick little stop here at Lamborghini. Um, we don't really have too much time. And I don't think I really um, said why we don't have too much time. We can now have a four hour drive, four and a half hour drive-ish to Monaco. Um, Today's a day. Th this is when things get real now. We're staying in Monaco for five days. Uh, we're staying in a nice big villa. Um, swimming pool. Swimming pool, everything in the hills of Monaco. I'm so excited. Um, so you know what? Let's hit the road, four hour drive to Monaco. We have just arrived in, well, Monaco, because Monaco is technically, um, was it a country, isn't it? Or Principality. Principality, Principality yeah. But on these roads. Oh. oh, this is amazing. So, yeah, we're about um, five or ten minutes away from the Airbnb, which we'll be seeing as our home, really, for the next five days or so. Absolutely cannot wait. Check that out front. <laughs> Welcome to paradise, well for the next five days anyway. I am so happy to be here. Excuse the drone that's up in the air. <laughs> if you just crash into a tree, no, it's all good. Um, yeah, look at this view, man. Look at this view. We're about 10 to 15 minutes outside of Monaco, but we've just, we're just overlooking the French Riviera. It's unbelievable. All 10 of us have just not stopped smiling. Got all our stuff in here, all unpacked, and ready to hit Monaco, because that's what we're all waiting for, to have a cruise around the F1 circuit in all of our cars. And you know what, the sun's coming out a little bit. Apparently, well, according to some of the standing water on the ground, we've had a bit of rain here before we've arrived, but here we are. We're in Monaco, I'm in heaven. I'm back at my favorite place. And you can probably tell, I am so happy. I mean, just look at this view. So there's the villa, cars are parked out there. I just pan around. Look at this. This will never get old. There's Ben, the drone's out there somewhere. We've got a pool, and yes, we have inflatables. <laughs> oh my days. What a magical, magical place. Here we go then. This we're near we're near casino, right? Yeah. yeah there's a Metropole Hotel. Oh my days! This is surreal. Now turn left. Okay, we don't need the sat nav anymore. Let's try and suss out how you get rid of it. Crikey! Yeah, I I don't know. To be fair. Wow. Okay, let's head down the Fairmont. Let's do a twat lap of Fairmont. <laughs> It's so weird, normally we walk there. It's like it we is. walk through that. It's so weird, like we had cars and coffee in there last year. <laughs> this is mental. Here we go then, Fairmont. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my days. How times we've stood there. This is a dream. This is a d oh no way. Oh my god. Very hot in Monaco. They do like 
to, uh, to pull people over. So we've got to be careful. But we're in the F1 tunnel. What a dream. This is a dream. And apps, what's this? What is this? What are you? 599. That's the first car we've seen. 599. So going down towards the harbour, and I think I'm going to take a U-turn and go... What's that? V12 Vantage S. Very nice. For those of you who haven't been to Monaco, it's it's supercars everywhere. I mean, we're going down towards the harbour now and we've just got massive yachts. Oh my days, this is unreal. Oh, this is cooler. So we're putting all, they're putting all the grandstands up for the F1. How cool is that? This is insanity. <laughs> Oh, so there's a pain to walk oh, up. You know what? It's so much nicer to drive up this hill. <laughs> the amount of times we've walked up here. Walking up here is a workout, isn't it? G-Wagon. <laughs> G-Wagon, your fave? Oh, it's pulled out in front of us. Oh, perfect. what a shame. Oh, you know what? I am just so happy right now. I'm so happy. Entering Casino Square then, for the first time in my car. The amount of times I've, well, the amount of times I've been to Monaco on foot, it's just crazy to be here with my own car. To be fair, I don't think there's actually anything here, but <laughs> I don't care. G-Wagon, <laughs> Rolls-Royce, stuff like that. Wow. <sighs> okay, so now that we've pretty much done um, the twat lap of Monaco, <laughs> this place is only two and a half kilometers squared, so it's tiny. Um, and even though the traffic is quite bad, you can get around it in no time. I think we're gonna park up and have a little evening out in Monaco. Uh, so obviously I'll bring the camera with me. So we'll park up and uh, make the most of the first night here in Monaco because uh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm slipping away So don't let me go nah, 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 nah. I'm all up in that love hey, so Where do we go nah, nah. Now even though we didn't really see too much when on the drive around Monaco we just stumbled across this McLaren Senna, matte black, orange decals, and I can't tell if they're chrome wheels or silver. Shame it's in, uh, in 4x4 mode with a lift up though, but how cool is that? So I've just popped over to Ferrari here in Monaco, as you can see, da da da, and uh, I think I've stumbled across or kind of crashed a uh, F8 Tributo launch. Now I saw this exact car, because it's a press car, uh, at Geneva uh, last month, so that's kind of cool. Um, so the covers are probably coming off that very shortly, but I just want to show you this over here. Awesome 488 Pista. Now this car, you might recognize it actually. It was the first car uh, delivered here to Monaco and it belongs to none other than Charles Leclerc, the uh, Ferrari F1 driver. Not sure how it's got here though, because at the time of recording this, he should be in Shanghai for the Grand Prix this weekend. But uh, either way, really, really cool to see this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Holy moly, I have just made a mess. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. So I presume um, this is going to be my home for the next, well, foreseeable future, seeing as there's an event on a Ferrari and a TDF, a tailor-made one-off TDF has just arrived. Uh, but yeah, that piece is really cool to see, uh, owned by Charles Leclerc. Uh, but yeah, been in Monaco for a, a total of 10 minutes, seen a TDF, a Senna and a Pista. Right. first day in Monaco, eh? Um, reflecting on today, actually, I completely forgot that we went to Lamborghini. Um, saw some incredible cars, both there and also in Monaco. We had a four hour drive, uh, probably about an hour to an hour and a half of that. It was all across the French Riviera. Absolutely stunning. And uh, like I said, this is our home now for the next five days or so. But I decided to do the outro here, uh, back at the Airbnb, because, well, it got dark down in town. Um, and we had dinner and kind of called it a night really. So with that said, I think I'm going to end today's video here. I've got to crack on with some more editing. Uh, you guys seem to be absolutely loving the videos, which is always nice to hear. 
Uh, I need to catch up with some comments actually having said that. Uh, but anyway, I'm rambling on, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Stop.